Hello guys to the new video. Today we are going to be explaining how the label printer QL800 rather actually works. So this is some label. You have uh, the wider ones. This is the wider one. You have the narrow one. Uh, but this is the better one for mine. For what I want to do. Uh, for my job, yeah. So just a second. So as you can see, you need to push this down uh, until it pops in. Yeah, it popped in. Uh, it popped in, and you need to pull this paper in. And pull it like this, and you need to push this down. Uh, this is how it looks like and over here you have its software uh, just a second I'll get the new one in just a second so can you, as you can see over here we have some uh, data for the label printer that we are going to use and we are going to use it P touch layout software uh, this is the editor this is how it, it looks like. It's really cool. It's really awesome. You can use many of the uh, layouts. You can use address layout, album layout, files, asset greetings, hobby, kitchen, etc. Over here you need to select uh, what printer you are going to be using. And over here you can uh, use some file that you already used. So for example I can use uh, this one maybe. Yeah. And when you want to print, you just click uh, Ctrl P, Ctrl P, yeah. And you see, uh, is this the printer you're going to be using? Yes. You over here have some pro properties, the paper size, what is paper type, but paper size is basically the pr label printer that's inside, so you're not going to need to use this one. Uh, and you have some advanced op options for text and graphics, for logo and text and over here also, we're gonna click OK you also have cut at the end, auto cut, mirror printing so you wanna cut at the end every one print finishes so I'll gonna, you also have high resolution or some I'm gonna be using standard and this is how many copies you want. I want 25. So we have error. Why we have error? Uh, because uh, the length of the tape is really big. So just a moment. I resume. Again, error. Just a second. We're gonna stop over here and we're gonna resume. Ah, just a second. So, yeah, guys, we're gonna continue where we left off. So, I need 23 of those standard brother coil name out to cut at the end. So, we're gonna print the print job is setting over here, and over here you can see the print is being finished. It's done basically. So yeah, that's the video for today. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in another video. I hope next video will be about the GitHub and Git tools, maybe some databases, I don't know. But I would like you all to enjoy. All the best and goodbye from Mirso Hayat. All, all the best for you. Goodbye. And subscribe also, like this video. Put a comment down below and that will be all for today. Bye.